Hi, Pipe Smokers. This is Paul the Pipe Guy, and happy Sunday. And uh, so this afternoon uh, we have a tobacco review to uh, do for you. <clears throat> it's by uh, Cascadia Pipe Company. Uh, this one's called Campsite, and it is plug. And basically just what they say on the back is... Uh, it's distributed by M&D Wholesale Distributors in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Made in Denmark by Scandinavian Tobacco Group, Essens, A slash S. But it doesn't tell you what's in it. So, actually what is in it is uh, Cascadia Campsite consists of grassy, bright, and toasty, bready, matured red and orange Virginia's. And that's all it has in it. So, uh, let's open the 10. Uh, I got five different blends in today. And no, I didn't tell my girlfriend. It's like 85 bucks. <clears throat> all right. Comes like that. And, oh, I can already smell it. Oh, yeah. Almost smells like burley, but <clears throat> doesn't say there's any burleys in here. And it's very blonde. Yeah, look at that. Wow. It does have a grassy smell to it. Hmm. Let's see how it tastes. Well, let me prepare it up, and uh, I'll be right back. And <clears throat> I came across my uh, Grandpa Miller's hat. Uh, my Grandpa Miller was born in uh, 1906. And, uh, no, 190, I don't know. When he passed away, it was 1974 on Halloween. I was nine years old, and he had retired from General Motors, uh, a car company here in the United States, and wore this hat in his garden every day, and it used to be a dark blue. But as you can see, it uh, has been bleached out from the sun, and it actually still smells like him. Yep. Forty some years later. I mean, we're talking forty, forty-seven years ago. And after he passed away, I inherited his uh, hat. So to try out this campsite, I'm going to wear this hat he wore outdoors every day. He worked in his garden. Yep. Anyway, so let me prepare this wonderful plug and we're going to try it out in our Savinelli. Yeah, be right back. All right, and so we're back, and so we have this in our vintage Savinelli Punto Oro Mr. G, bowl number 207, and what a great smoking pipe. <clears throat> so when you uh, go to uh, slice uh, that uh, plug tobacco, Keep in mind, this is under extreme pressure. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten tons of pressure to compress all of those leaves that have been stacked. So, when you slice that, it may only look like a little small chunk, but after you rub it out, and um, <clears throat> you're going to end up with quite a bit of tobacco. I mean, basically what I did is I rubbed out, uh, if I can show you here, I rubbed out a slice, uh, about that big, which is like three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch, a little less than that, about that thick, and, uh, filled the bowl up, so... You know, plug tobacco is a little harder to rub out than crumble cake. Crumble cake is already, like, 
loose tobacco, all right, like so, and it's pressed into a cake under extreme pressure, but you can actually just break off a corner. It rubs out really good. Uh, with some plug tobacco, you're going to have to work for it. So, uh, Campsite by Cascadia. Let's try it out. All Virginia's. And when I cut this plug and rubbed it out, it was extremely leafy. Because you're not dealing with ground tobacco, you're dealing with whole tobacco leaves that are stacked, hundreds of them, on top of each other and then compressed into a plug that may be only an inch and a half thick. It starts out at about four inches thick. I like the taste of Virginia's. Mm. Definitely mellow. I've never had, I've never even heard of orange Virginia's. Good smoke, though. When you first open a tin of tobacco, it's vacuum sealed, so you know, it comes right from the factory the way it was. I mean, and when you have a vacuum sealed container, <clears throat> very little oxygen, if any, in there, which oxygen, oxygen will, when mixed with uh, pipe tobacco, will cause it to be able to age. And so when you first open up a tin of something, if you don't care for it, or it's not your favorite, uh, a lot of pipe smokers will say, well, put the top back on and set it away on the shelf for a while. <clears throat> and as pipe tobacco ages, it gets more mellow. Mm. Ah. Took a little while to get this lit. It's pretty moist. I like it. I could definitely picture sitting around a campsite, <clears throat> around a campfire smoking this. So I have uh, four other blends. Uh, a total of five blends came in today. We just did this review on the uh, campsite made by Cascadia, which was made in Denmark. And then I actually have two of my other blends that I said I was going to stove that have been soaked in rum for 30 days. I said I would stove them. <clears throat> they were actually put in here with rum a generous amount to soak it on 731 2021 uh, this one is apple aromatic with uh, some latakia that I put in there and rum <clears throat> and instead of stoving it putting in the stove it was very warm yesterday so I spread it out on a cookie sheet with tin foil and just let it uh, sit on my front cement porch and that mostly dried it out, and then when it became dark at night, I brought it in, just let it sit in my living room. And when I got up today, 
it was fairly dry. Uh, still some good moisture to it. And then we have this other blend that did the same thing uh, on the 73121. I put Scotty's Butternut Burley with rum and did the same process with this cookie sheet, tin foil. Instead of putting it in the stove, I let nature do its work. And uh, I'm going to let these sit here for a while and just kind of. Oh, that smells good. Scotty's Rum Butternut Burley it is now. So I'll let the uh, flavors marry. We also have another blend here, which I actually made up this afternoon. It's probably about five ounces, six ounces. And what I did is I took uh, my Prince Albert, which is pure burley. <clears throat> And I mix that with some uh, double pressed Latakia. And then I took some uh, Bengal slices, which are single barrel Bengal slices soaked in rum. And I put some of that in there too. And uh, kind of took the edge off the uh, burley. So I'm going to let these sit in here. Just kind of let the flavors marry for a little bit. And uh, I was thinking probably what I'll do is I'll take half of this and half of that, which would be about four ounces. There's got to be eight ounces in there. And I'll probably put uh, some red wine in one, let it soak for 30 days, and leave the other one. Just let the flavors of the Latakia and the burleys and the Bengal slices marry. Anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy. So, uh, the campsite, Cascadia, with the orange Virginias and the grassy bright Virginias, very good blend. I enjoyed it. I think you will, too. Anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy, live from Rochester, New York, in the United States of America. Happy pipe smoking, pipe smokers, over and out. And we might just do another review. You never know with me.